Thank you, uh, Deputy Speaker. My uh, question without notice is directed to the uh, Minister for Intergovernment Relations. Na Minister Justice, na Attorney General and Public Services, please take note. The recent, uh, recently, many of our ward councillors or ward members and officials were paid the allowances after four or to five months of waiting. Mr. Speaker, the situation, as Deputy Speaker, the situation, I believe, is the same for village courts, magistrates, and officials. Many of them complain, and we believe that, yes, these very people, they played a vital role helping us in the wards, the respective uh, districts, long solving all problems inside long all communities, Blayumi. Many of them passed on, now some that they continued, and yet all is still waiting pay long all. But we thank this government long started them all, pay long all four to five months ago. My speaker, Mr. S Mr. Deputy speaker, my question as follows. Can the minister inform this honorable house if there is a plan put on our ward councillors or ward members, village court magistrates and officials on the government payroll and so the allowances are paid on fortnight basis and if so, when will this happen? Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Minister for Intergovernment Relations. Uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and I thank uh, Member for Kokopo for this uh, very important question that's been asked. And I concur with uh, the members' uh, comment that uh, Board members play a very significant role. They are the face of the government on the ground. They are the ones who mediate. They are the ones who ensure that government services are, are provided on the ground, which affect 80% of our people on the ground. And therefore, the question is very important and vital. The question of whether the what members have been paid or not. Uh, there are about 6,000 uh, ward members, of which uh, my department and the Department of Treasury had already paid for the last uh, four to five months from January to, I think, about April, of which, of that 6,000, 1,000 Board members have not been paid mainly because of uh, issues about uh, accounts. And um, therefore, when uh, the accounts are resolved, they can be uh, then paid, obviously backdated to the time that they, they are supposed to be paid. Otherwise, uh, my department is, uh, has already applied to Treasury to, to uh, access funds for the remaining part of this, this year. The second issue that you raised, uh, which is the second part of the issue, is uh, those members who have been waiting to have them passed away. And um, obviously that question implies that it would be before the time that government has uh, put the ward members on salary, pay a fortnight. In the past it was, uh, I think, allowance for per month and I, I am told that it should be about 200 kina per fortnight. But this government, Marape, at that time, Marape, uh, uh, yeah, Marape government recognized that there is importance and significance of uh, uh, these people, uh, these uh, officers who need to be compensated properly, and therefore they have been put on salaries. Now. Coming back to the issue of ward members, sorry, um, the uh, 
the uh, court, court officials, sorry. Coming back to court officials, court official comes under jurisdiction of uh, Attorney General's office as to how Attorney General is uh, uh, addressing that issue in terms of salaries uh, would be, uh, it would be appropriate for Attorney General to answer that question. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.